What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? Welcome to today's 45 minute dumbbell or kettlebell strength training workout. You're gonna need one light dumbbell or kettlebell and one moderate to heavy dumbbell or kettlebell. So get some space around you and get ready to work. Go. All right, so let's get started with our warm up. So we're gonna first get started on the floor. We're gonna go into a cobra pose, follow it up with a downward dog, all right? So you're gonna come down onto the floor. You're gonna press yourself up, and then from there, tuck your toes under and push yourself back into a downward dog. All right, now we're gonna slowly cycle back into our cobra pose. Push yourself up nice and tall. Tuck your toes under and get into a downward dog, all right? So this is just a great way to loosen up both sides of the body, really. So in the cobra, we're getting a good stretch in the front of the body. And with the downward dog, we're getting a good stretch throughout the back side of the body. All right, cool. Now from there, let's get on all fours. I want you to reach one leg off to the side, okay? That leg should be straight. Get your chest up tall and proud. You're gonna sit all the way back towards your heels and come all the way forward. Rock yourself all the way back and all the way forward. All right, now the tendency is to round your upper back when doing this, but do your best to keep that chest tall and proud. Awesome work. All right, let's get one more and switch sides. So getting a good warm up within the inner thighs, getting those hips loosened up. And we'll, whoa, what was that? <laughs> My knee just exploded, but it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, everything's fine. We're gonna look back at this and it's gonna be the workout that Lauren persevered through a torn ACL, popped Achilles. It was just a little crap. She left it all on the turf. <laughs> all right, cool. And let's stand on up. And then from there, let's get your feet about hip width apart. Bend your knees slightly. You're gonna reach your hips back and reach your arms straight out in front of you and then you're gonna stand up tall, all right? So this is a body weight standing hinge. Not to be confused with a squat. A squat, you drop your hips lower. For these, get your hips up really high and then stand on up, all right? So this is a great way to warm up for deadlifts, single leg deadlifts, which happen to be in the first section of this workout. All right, we'll get a couple more. And just making sure as you come down, push your knees slightly off to the side. So we just don't want your knees to come in a bit, okay? Last one coming up. And awesome work. All right, Lauren, take it away. Circuit number one. All right, so we're gonna start with a lower body circuit. We're gonna have four moves. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through it three times, and then we're gonna give our legs a break and move on to upper body, all right? So I'll give you the move number one, and then in the, in the rests, I will walk you through what's coming up next. So move number one is going to be a single leg deadlift or a staggered stance deadlift. So most likely you're gonna want your heavier kettle kettlebell or dumbbell for this one. If you're comfortable with a single leg deadlift, you're gonna stand on your right foot, hold the dumbbell or kettlebell in your left hand. You're gonna send your left leg back, hinging your hips, and then push into the floor, stand up tall. If you're not so comfortable with that single leg stance, you can do a staggered stance. So planting your ball of your foot right by your heel, and then hinging your hips back, and standing up nice and tall. All right, so whichever one feels better to you, you can always start with the staggered stance, and then move to the single leg variation if that feels good for you. Sound good? Let's do it. Get those legs ready. We're going in five seconds. Grab your weight, probably your heavier one. Three, two, one, let's go. I'll do staggered while Jason does single leg. So you can see them both. Am I close to kicking in, in the action. face? You know, I'm, I'm actually doing this little seesaw motion with you right now where I go up when you go back and I go down when you go <laughs> forward. It's working out really that, well. That's how in sync we are, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're staying on the same leg for the full 40 seconds. So you can have a chance if you have a couple balance checks or you're feeling a little wobbly, no big deal. You're gonna get plenty of reps in in this 40 second interval here. We got 10 seconds left. Keep thinking about reaching that leg back, pushing your hips back. And three, two, one, and rest. Very good. Awesome. So as you probably expected, exercise number two is the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna stand now on your left foot either send your right foot behind you or stagger that right foot. All right, you're always holding the weight in the leg that's going back. We got three, two, one, let's go. 
Awesome. And if, you, if you're doing the staggered stance version, the reason that these two movements are similar is the hip movement. You'll see both of us kind of doing the same thing, sending our hips back, slight bend in our stance leg. But with the staggered stance, we're unloading the non-working leg, but not so much that you're taking it off the floor, which causes you to sometimes lose balance or is just a more, more of a balance challenge. So this is kind of a good in-between of a two-legged de deadlift and a single leg deadlift. Exactly. All right, we got five seconds left. Three, two, one, take a rest. Very right. nice. Next, you're gonna do a goblet squat to a calf raise. So you're gonna hold your weight in this goblet position, either with the dumbbell or the kettlebell. You're gonna squat down, come up onto your toes, calf raise, and right back down into a squat. All right, I'd recommend your heavy weight here as well. We got three, two, one, let's go. Full squat, up on your toes, feel those calves and right back into it, beautiful. Try to get a little bit of a pause up at the top so you can really get that good calf squeeze in. Awesome. Lauren, you had a little southern accent there during the instruction. I did. You were like, squat down, <laughs> did squat I? down, and then calf raise up. <laughs> I did work on a farm growing up, so maybe it was just oh, coming yeah. back. Fun fact. Fun fact. Go it, farm. It wasn't a cow farm, though. When you said calf, I thought of cows. <laughs> It was a it was a produce farm, best job the corn I've had, farm. except for this. And rest. <laughs> did you shoot potato guns? I forget. Oh, yeah, we definitely did. <laughs> All right, next one we're gonna do a pulsing split squat. You can do this body weight or goblet. You're gonna go or with your light weight. You're gonna go down to the bottom of the split squat and pulse. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. A little bit of a we burner got this. here. I'm we got light two. Weight for this one. One and go. I'm going lightweight for this one too. It burns. Little pulses here. We're never standing fully up. Whew. We got 10 more seconds on this side. Oh yeah. <laughs> and three, two, one, Ooh. switch it up. Oh, over oh, to the other boy. leg, <laughs> that hurts. Oh boy, that switch hurt. <laughs> hurts so good. Nice job. Ooh, I might go body weight for this one next time. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds. Yowzers. Nice job. Whew. Oh boy. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, Jason, what are you doing to uh, our legs? Boy. Okay, one round down. Two, two more to go. go. All We're going people back. do bar like, I can do that all day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not our cup of tea, but that's good. <laughs> Gotta get out of your comfort zone. Let's do it. We're going back to our single leg or staggered stance deadlift. Grab your heavy weight. We got two, one, let's go. Nice job. Yeah, and we did shoot potato guns. Did you? But I can't remember how to, like you made them with PVC pipe, I think. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't in charge of the creation. Now what actually shot it? Was it like, it wasn't gunpowder, obviously. No. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Honestly, I think I just watched. I don't think I ever participated. But it was, uh, it was my, it was really awesome job. It was with like all my best friends. We worked in the in little farm stand, picked corn, rest, shucked corn to make sure there were no bugs in it, you know? <laughs> it's going to be perfect because life. it's like relatively mindless, right? You just kind of like shuck the corn, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and you're able to hang out with your friends And you're with your friends. School. You're literally just like standing around a wagon of corn. It was, <laughs> it was a great job. <laughs> All right, other side and go. Yeah, I feel like better than like, let's say like serving or hosting or working in retail. Yeah, definitely. I did get to, I liked working the cashier because I do like people. Yeah. So that was, that was a fun part as well. It was just fun because there were a lot of different things you could do. Like sometimes you could drive the tractor, sometimes you could be out in the field, sometimes you could be in the farm stand, so. I definitely didn't realize like the difference between store-bought and then fresh produce until I tried Go Farms corn. Oh, and I was like, ah. Oh, best corn. You'll I ever see. Eat. I see. Well, at least in the Northeast. Take a rest. I'm sure Ooh. some of you from, like, where's, where do they grow corn? The Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some of you have had better corn, but this is the best corn in the Northeast by far. All right. Anyway, let's go into our goblet squat, two calf raise. Grab your heavier weight. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. 
These didn't hurt so bad last time. <laughs> After those pulsing After split those squats. After those pulses. Lauren, step forward a little bit. <laughs> I was, I was uh, trying to back out of the screen. <laughs> Ooh. Quads. Who feels those quads? Raise your hands. Well, don't raise your hand. I see all of you raising your hands. <laughs> or you can press them overhead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nice job. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, Ooh. and one. All right, grab your lightweight or I'm going feel free to weight. go body weight. I'm going body weight here. <laughs> this one is definitely burning. Let's face burning. straight ahead for this one. All righty, let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, catch your breath, take a couple nice deep ones here. That transition was brutal. Yeah, it was a very mark. big surprise. <laughs> three, two, one, let's go. I kind of like was feeling okay. And then as soon as I went to step out of it, I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> awesome, 10 more seconds on this side. Stay nice and low, try not to stand up out of it. Oh boy. You can do it. Three, two, uh, one. Whoa, <laughs> switch it up. <laughs> Come on, don't neglect your other side. You gotta get right into it. <sighs> we got this. Oh my goodness. Ah, this hurts. <laughs> Come on, uh, come on, stick with it. Five seconds, you can do it. Two, uh, two, one. one. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, just right. saying, I have like 15 extra pounds on me already. You do, you do. Yours uh, are naturally more weighted. Making, <laughs> making these feel much harder. Okay, one more round to go on this lower body circuit. We're almost there. Grab your heavy weight. We got three, two, <laughs> one. Let's go, staggered or single leg. Oh, you went the other side this time. You no, I went the you. same side. You did? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've had a lot of mom brain <laughs> moments today. I feel like when I was pregnant with Kendrick, it was just pregnancy brain. Then when I had pre Kendrick, I had mom brain. And now I have both. <laughs> and it's just unfair. <laughs> it's a lot of things happening in my brain. And I dropped Kendrick off at daycare, and I thought that I locked myself out of the car because <laughs> I left the keys in the car. So I called Jason and made him come get me. And then when he finally got there, I realized that one of the doors actually did open. <laughs> we take a rest. And in the meantime, I was inside the daycare calling Jason. So Kendrick was all excited that I was there and then very upset when I was leaving. It was a fiasco. A mess, a mess. It was a fiasco. But so if here. I can't figure out my right from left today, <laughs> that's actually the least of my mom brain problems. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Awesome work. Really keep driving those hips back if you're on that single leg, reaching that heel back behind you, thinking about trying to aim for the wall behind you or your wife's face if you're Jason. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Looking really good. Should be feeling the backs of those legs, glutes, hamstrings. 10 more seconds. Three. Two, Ooh. one, take a rest. Nice right. job. Get ready for our squats. Ooh. Legs uh, are feeling good. I don't know if we gave the overview of the workout, but after circuit num number one, we've got three more circuits coming up. Yeah, we totally didn't. <laughs> Upper body, core, and a little hit round at the end. Three, two, one, let's go. We're just letting you be totally surprised by yeah. what's coming next. <laughs> yeah, lower body round, upper body round, core round. Now, now that I've worn them, they just completely stopped the workout. Everybody's like, Turn I'm, off the TV. I'm done. We have an average watch time of six minutes. <laughs> All right. I recommend you keep going. Personally, I think lower body section is the hardest. So oh, yeah. I would like to get it out of the way get first. Get out of the way. And then probably the cardio round gets you, but it's quick at the end. So I like to leave that little icing on the cake. Yeah. Three. Three. Two, two, one. one. Awesome. All right. All right, grab your lightweight or body weight. Ooh. Oh. All right. I'm slightly dreading this. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it though. I'm gonna switch sides this time. Oh, good idea. Me too. Start with the left. Start with the left. All right. Ooh. Three, All right. two, one. Let's go. Drop it down. 
and stay low. As much as you don't want to. You know it's gonna be over soon and we don't even have to come back to them. Only 10 more seconds on this side. You're right, the first side just doesn't seem so bad. Oh, no, it feels bad right now. <laughs> Three, <sighs> two, one. Oh. oh, switch. And right into it, come on. <sighs> we got this. Come on, little pulses. Oh my God, it's oh. adding up. <laughs> oh. Come on, oh <laughs> stick God. with it. Oh, Let's you're go. so strong. Let's go. Three, two, two one. Oh. Oh. All right, what a way to cap that round off. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. <laughs> nice job at home. All, All right. right, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. You do the same. Jason's gonna talk you through what's coming up next. So circuit number two. So done with lower body. We're moving on to upper body. All right, so same format though. 40 on, 20 off. Four exercises, Lauren's gonna explain move number one, and then during the, re uh, the rest periods, she'll explain the rest of them. That's right, so we're gonna start off with your standard push-up, all right? So you have two options here. You can be up on your feet with a push-up here, or modify down to your knees. If you're on your knees, make sure you're not here. We don't wanna be in a quadruped position and bringing our chin toward the floor because it's really not mimicking much of a push-up. So we wanna get our hips forward, squeeze those glutes, so the back of your head is in line with your tailbone. And then everything stays connected as you go through that kneeling push-up. Those will be a little bit more effective as a modification. Sound good? All right, let's get 40 ready to 40 seconds of push-ups, no you big deal. This. Let's start there. Let's do it. We got five seconds to start. Whew. In three, two, one, let's go. So I'll be showing the modified version. You can also mix and match. 40 Absolutely. seconds is definitely a long time for push-ups, so. If you need to mix and match, feel free. Another thing you can do is if push-ups just feel a little bit out of your wheelhouse, you can go up into a plank, do a plank hold. It's a really great drill for just getting stronger for push-ups. You can even do a little shoulder tap here, all right? So anything that's helping you maintain this plank position, good alignment from your head to your heels is gonna really assist you in push-ups in the future. We got three, two, one, take a break. All right. Next, we're gonna do an alternating row to bicep curl. So you're gonna grab the outside of your dumbbell if you're holding a dumbbell, or the outsides of the handles of the kettlebell. You're going to hinge your hips and perform a row. Down, stand up, and a bicep curl, and down. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. So hinge, row, down, stand, and curl. Awesome. For the row, you're thinking about pulling your elbows back, squeezing between your shoulder blades. And then for that bicep curl, keeping your elbows pinned to your sides and just bringing your hands up. Awesome. Both of these moves work the biceps. The row also incorporates your upper back while the curl is a little more isolated. And you get those brain gains as well. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of like a dance here. Getting your wires crossed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three. Two, one, awesome work. Beautiful, next one we're gonna do a goblet shoulder press. So holding the outsides of the uh, dumbbells or holding the handles of the kettlebell, we're just gonna go straight up overhead and pull it back down. Simple as that. Easy peasy. All right. 40 Going seconds in. though. So you might wanna grab your lightweight for this one. <laughs> Two, one, and go. Yeah. Something to note, if you start to fatigue, you can also use your legs a little bit turn it into a push press, all right? So again, we opted for slightly more isolated moves than usual. So definitely feel free to modify as you see fit. Yeah. If you're using a heavier weight, your reps might be a little bit slower. If you're using a lightweight, they might be a little bit faster. So this workout really is dependent on what you wanna focus on. All right, if you're focusing more on strength and lower reps, just slow it down. You have 40 seconds to get in as many reps as you can. If you're going for more reps, speed it up. Two, one, and rest. Down onto your backs, we're gonna do a lat pullover. So Jason's gonna show that. So he's holding the weight straight up overhead. He's gonna lower it down toward the floor, tap it, and pull it back forward. Because I'm pregnant and not laying on my back right now, I'm gonna be showing a tricep extension from the standing position. All right, we got three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, feel free to join Lauren as well, because that's also an isolated upper body movement. Ooh, but since we just worked those shoulders and triceps, it's nice <laughs> and it. compounding with those overhead presses. All right, so after this, this is the end of round one. 
Two more rounds remaining, and then two more segments remaining. All right, so with these, very slight bend in the elbows, allow the weight to touch the floor or get as close as you can without arching your lower back, and then pull it straight back up. You'll get your lats and triceps involved for this one. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, All right. and rest. Awesome. All right, we're going on to back down to the ground onto our push-ups. Nice Ooh. work. Oh yeah, those shoulders and triceps <laughs> are going to burn. Triceps. Triceps. Tri tri <laughs> <laughs> no making fun of me today. <laughs> I had a free pass. Three, two, one, and go. At least my range of motion is now um, even shorter because yeah. my belly hits so early. <laughs> now, if you are pregnant and you're somebody who notices a little bit of um, discomfort in a plank position, you can change this up to a dead bug as well. So not putting as much pressure on the core. I'm sorry, not a dead bug, a uh, bird dog. So you can be here still in this kind of quadruped position, but not putting as much pressure on your core. So if you are following along and you're pregnant like me and push-ups no longer feel good, which is totally possible, and probable Ooh. at certain points. Go ahead and try that out. Three, two, one. Oh boy. Nice job. All right, All right, stand it up. Row Ooh. to curl. How are those arms feeling? Arms, shoulders. Ooh. We said hardest part was gonna be lower body, but I don't know, this is kinda <laughs> tough. It definitely burns. I'm actually gonna go with my heavier weight for this one though. I felt like I was a little too light on my last set, so. Oh. We'll see. Love Just it, love it. Two, one, let's go. Just gotta figure out what works for you for each individual exercise. We also all have different strengths, different things that feel a little bit more natural to us. This one for me felt pretty good. So I'm cranking up the weight. How's your knee after it exploded? It, you know what? It really didn't, it, it didn't explode. I, it hope didn't the, even I hope the mic pack caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a gymnast for many, many years and we get, we get some creaky joints and bones and things. Yeah. So I don't know any gymnasts who don't pop and crack pretty much in all of their joints. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got three, two, one. Nice job, take a rest. Oh. We're gonna go into our overhead press. All right. 10 seconds, I don't know why I'm already holding my weight. I'm so excited. <laughs> so amped. It. So amped. All right. All right, go ahead and grab it now. We got three, two, one, let's go. So trying to really make sure that you're ending with your arms right next to your ears. We don't want to press out in front of you for these. We're trying to get straight up overhead. Keeping your ribs stacked right over your hips so you're not arching your back as you go through this motion. An option we didn't mention was actually, let's say your weight is too light for these overhead presses. You can also oh, yeah. go with single arm presses, 20 seconds on each side. Absolutely. Okay? Yep, you can try that out next time since we told you a little late this time. <laughs> Ooh, shoulders. I would have thought. Three, two, one. Ooh. I would have thought my weight was too light, but 40 seconds is, 40 is seconds long is enough. Lot. It makes the light weight feel heavy. <sighs> All right, you're down to your back if you're doing lat pullovers or you're staying standing for our tricep extensions. If you're following along with me. All right. Five seconds to get started. <sighs> and three, two, one, let's go. Awesome work. And now if you don't know, your lat muscles are your strong back muscles right over here, below your armpit, this sort of like wing-like region, I guess. And you're trying to do your best to squeeze that area as you pull the weight up, all right? So it's not just triceps and just shoulders. Really try to think about using your lats to pull the weight up. My triceps are officially dying. Yep, toast. Oh, yes. This is end of Ooh. round two? Yep. All right. All right, almost Five more there. seconds, we're close. In two, one, ha. All right. Awesome, all right, let's bring it back down to the floor for our push-ups. We're almost there, one more round of this upper body work, and then oh. we're gonna work our core. Core for more. Core for more. Sounds like a good campaign slogan. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. What would you be, what would be your like, if you had a fitness campaign, what would no be your... No more burpees, yeah. <laughs> which is hilarious because there thing. are burpees later on in the workout. 
<laughs> you're not, your, your um, voting record is, uh, is not living up <laughs> to your campaign. Ooh. Oh my goodness, all right, keep it going. <sighs> halfway there, a little more than halfway there. Keep pushing. Think about pressing your hands into the floor. Spread your shoulder blades at the top to finish out that push up. 10 more seconds here, come on. Come on, push through. As many reps as you can with good form. Three, two, one. Oh. Take, a re take a break. I always uh, say take a rake because I'm trying to say rest and break at the same time. <laughs> All right, stand it up. We're gonna go to our row to bicep curl. All right. Whichever weight works best for you. Sweating, sweating. <laughs> Should've got a towel. Oh, I always man. forget. So unprepared. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. I always love the like when little kids come up with their campaigns when they're like first learning about politics and they're like pizza for lunch every day. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like that was your no more burpees <laughs> declaration. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good campaign slogan. Pizza for lunch every day. Pizza, free pizza, free pizza every day. Free pizza for all. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And rest. Ooh. Beautiful job. Let's get ready for those overhead presses. All right. Oh. We're speechless. <laughs> Can't talk. Can't talk. Shoulders dying. I know. Shoulders, triceps, feeling it. We got three, two, one. Let's go. No, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't want to do more tricep extensions. Definitely not. Again, remember, you can use those legs to get into your push press, right? Halfway there. After this, we've got core. I'll be showing plenty of core modifications <laughs> for pregnancy or for people who just want to modify. <laughs> yep. We've All got right, three, three two, two, one. Take a rest. Ooh. Get ready All for right. your lat pullovers or tricep extensions. All right. Uh, wow, you have to keep standing in that exact same position. <laughs> Brutal. With my arms overhead. It's actually a terrible decision. Three, two, one, go. I like your little hat shimmy there. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. We got this. What are you feeling most in those? Lat pullovers. You feeling a lot of tricep or a lot of lat? Lats, a little bit of triceps, feeling a little bit of residual soreness from the shoulders. Yeah. 15 more seconds, we can do this. Just even holding this weight like this is <laughs> killing me right now. <laughs> ah, never mind pressing it overhead. Five more seconds, we got this. Three, two, All one. Right. Ah. Great job, Ooh. that felt awesome. All right. Shake those arms out, grab a little water. Thank you, sir. Segment number three, like I said before, we're working the core. We got abs, obliques, entire midsection work going on. We've got four exercises again, 30 seconds on this time, 15 seconds off, and we're reducing the rounds. We only got two rounds, all right? All right, Let's so Jason's gonna show most of these and then I'll show a quick modification. So the first one's gonna be a frogger sit up or crunch. All right, so you're gonna be on your back, your feet are together and your knees are out like Jason's showing here. If you're new to these, start with a crunch. So the crunch would be just a reach and back down. All right, if you're feeling like you can go a little bit further, go full sit up all the way up and then all the way back down. All right, both of them are challenging. The sit up just requires a little bit more range of motion than the crunch, but if you are gonna modify like me, I'm gonna do a standing bicycle. So here, elbow to opposite knee, or as close as you can get it, uh, depending on how far out your belly's sticking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'll show you the rest, or I'll talk you through the rest as we get through the circuit. So let's get started on your back if you're following Jason, on your feet if you're following me. We got five seconds to start. In three, two, one, let's go. Same concept here if you want to mix and match also. If you want to go sit up for 20 seconds and then crunch for 20 seconds, feel free to do that. I'll probably do the same. The knees out position, 
basically in a standard sit-up, your hip flexors are involved because they are in this position. When you get them out wide, they can no longer be quite as involved and it makes for a little more pressure on your core, on your abs. So these frogger sit-ups can be great for isolated core work. And rest, very good. Next one, you're gonna be on your back again. You're doing a Russian twist. So now you're kind of off your back and on your sits bones, twisting side to side. All right, if you're following me, I'm gonna be doing a marching glute bridge on my back, lifting my hips up and marching my feet. All right, Let's one and go. go. <laughs> Wasn't much of a countdown when you start with one. <laughs> if, you, um, if you want to use a weight too, you warriors, feel free to do that. Yeah. I'm gonna go with body weight though. Excellent. We got 10 more seconds. Ooh. Oof. All right. You got it. Two, one, and rest. All Very right. nice. Next, we're gonna go into a side plank. So you're gonna be on your left side for round one. We got rotational press-out. Just kidding, press. I lied. We're gonna do a rotational <laughs> press-out. Grab your light weight, hold it at your chest. You're gonna press out, back to the middle, and out to the other side. In, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. oh. You go. Okay. <laughs> Awesome, so as you press the weight out away from your body, you have to stabilize with your core a little bit more. It's actually a great one for pregnancy because you're gonna be putting your baby in and out of a crib and you have to bring them away from your body. A lot of times we don't like to think about pressing the weight straight out. It feels awkward, but it's great rest Time. to strengthen that movement pattern. All right, now we're gonna go side plank on your left side for this round and on your right side oh. for the second round, all right? We're gonna do either just a hold or you can do a crunch. We're gonna go in two, one, let's go. So either holding here, you can go arm up to the ceiling, hand on your hip, behind your head, whatever feels good. Or like Jason's doing, elbow to the floor and open up. If you are doing this move, the crunching move, feel free to unstack your feet because it is a lot more movement going on and you might need a little bit of a wider base like myself. Awesome, keep holding here. We got three, two, one, Ooh. and rest. Nice All job. Right. All right, we're gonna bring it back to the frogger sit-up or the standing bicycle, and then round two, we're just gonna do the other side of that side plank. All right. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's do it. So interestingly enough, Frogger crunches aren't necessarily a regression from the setups because you have a lot more constant tension going on. There's not quite as much break at the top of the movement. So I'm feeling actually a lot more abs just doing the crunches. So good point. Again, difference, it's just different. It's not just better or one or thing is worse. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and rest. All right, we're doing the <laughs> Russian twist if you're with Jason, glute bridge if you're with me. All right. In three, two, one, and go. You might be wondering why a glute bridge would be in a core section. It certainly definitely is a lower body move if you're using your glutes, but a lot of times people forget that glutes are actually really a part of the core. They're really part of that center of your body that helps to stabilize your lower back. So strengthening your glutes is always a bonus. Throw it in in your leg round, throw it in your core Ooh. round. And rest, nice job. All, All right. right, stand it up, grab your light weight. We're gonna do those press outs. All right. Making us get up and down and up, up and, and down. down. <laughs> Which way are we going first? To the right. Okay. <laughs> and go. Unlike what Rihanna says. <laughs> Rihanna, Beyonce? Yeah, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, oh my pop culture is so bad. <laughs> She's got, she's like, I've got a hundred problems, <laughs> but a kettlebell ain't one. <laughs> if you watch the circle, you actually know that that's a recent pop culture reference. <laughs> if you don't watch the circle you on Netflix, should. you definitely should. At first it's like eye roll city, and then you get really hooked. <laughs> guilty pleasure, but also not, not quite guilty. I don't feel guilty about it at all. Yeah, I love it so it much. Great. All right, let's get into our right side side plank. <laughs> oh yeah. In three, 
two, one, let's go. You can do that crunch or you can do the hold. If you're doing the hold, I like the arm up to the ceiling and thinking about turning your thumb back behind you. It just helps to open up your shoulder, get you in a nice, good alignment as opposed to being forward and rounding. 10 more seconds here. Good straight line from the back of your head to your heels. Come on. Three, two, one. Ooh. And rest. All right. Nice job. Core worked. High Core five. complete. High five. All right, we've got one more circuit left. We've got our hit round. So unlike my campaign promise, we actually are gonna be doing burpees <laughs> for the first exercise. But basically, circuit number four, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four rounds, but only two exercises, all right? Burpees and a little squat jump type of maneuver. So your classic Tabata style setup here. Yep. We're gonna do a burpee and a pop out to a squat. So for the burpee, dropping down to your hands, I'm gonna have you show this mm -hmm. one, Jason. Jumping your feet out, jumping your feet in. You can either do a jump or a jumping jack at the top, whichever one feels better. Another variation of this, if you feel like jumping your feet in close feels a little uncomfortable on your knees, you can jump your feet out wide. So you can jump out and into more of a squat and then stand up. All right, I'm gonna be doing a stepping burpee. So down, step, 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 and stand. So feel free to do any of those variations. Then pop out to the squat. We're gonna start with our feet together. Pop out, squat, pop in. All right, if you don't wanna jump, just a nice speed squat will do. Sound good? Let's do it. Let's do it. Last one. All right, it goes by so fast. Super quick. Burpees first in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so if you are in an upstairs apartment, I know some of you have mentioned this, go ahead and do what I'm doing as well. It's a little quieter, or it's just incentive to be really light on your feet <laughs> with your burpees. Three, nice job. two, one. Awesome work. Awesome, we're gonna go into that pop to squat, so rest your legs. We're gonna start with your feet in close, jump them out to squat, and then jump them back yeah, that's in. that's key, feet close first. And, and go. go. Awesome, and of course, if you're not jumping, we're doing speed squats, which I'm gonna do. Jumping during pregnancy is up to you when you start to modify, but eventually it puts a lot of pressure on the pelvic floor. It's a good idea to start to, you know, lessen that as you get further along. And rest, very good. Whew. One down, One three down. to go. 25%. All right, if our quads weren't hurting in the first round, we're reminded of them <laughs> now. Three, two, one, let's go. If you want, you can also add in a push up at the bottom, even though we just did them <laughs> for upper body, but feel free. I know, I didn't even mention that because it felt too evil, but it's totally an option. Three, two, one. Press. Awesome work. Pop out the squat. Whew. Couple deep breaths. Two, one, and go. Now on these speed squats, because this is our cardio round, we're thinking about going quick. So not standing up and fully locking it out of the top, but really just going right into the next one, using your arms for a little bit of extra momentum here. Three, two, one. Oh. Awesome, all right. Halfway there, I told you it goes by really quick. If you're doing burpees and you wanna add the push up, wanna show what we don't wanna see? Yes. Real quick. One, and go. go. We don't wanna see this floppy. <laughs> press up, all right? It's kind of common, we see it a lot. We wanna see a real push up, there we go, beautiful. All right. Again, you don't have to do the push up, but if you're going to, you're gonna do it right. Two, one. Rest. Ooh. I kind of got out right. of that round by explaining a lot. <laughs> Forget how quick 10 seconds goes. I know. All right, three, three two, two, one. one. Let's go. I was like, Looking forward to 10 seconds break. Lauren's like, can you do a burpee for me? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I meant in the beginning of your round. <sighs> Come on, nice and quick, we got this. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Awesome, oh my. shake it out. 75%. Ooh, one more of each, we can do it. Three, <sighs> two, one, let's go. <sighs> I'm very tempted to always step back with the same leg, so I'm trying to switch each time. Another and mind game. It feels really awkward. 
Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. Ooh, I did All a right. little bonus because I yeah. felt like I, you, I you did my rep for missed me. out on the last <laughs> round. Let's go. Three, two, one. Last set. Make it the best one. Make it the fastest one. Come on. Your legs can do this. We're going to stretch after this. Come on, you can get there. Last one, last one. 10 seconds. Ooh. Come on. It's going to be over so soon. Uh, Come on, keep it going. Three, two, two one. one. Awesome. Uh, wow. Awesome that job. Was a good one. High fives. All right, let's you get down it. on one knee. Get those hip flexors, quads stretched out. So, whichever knee is down, you're trying to squeeze that glute. Tuck your hips under and reach forward with those hips. So you're getting a good hip flexor and quad stretch there. If you're super balanced, if your knee doesn't give you any issues, you can also tuck that back foot in as well. No knee explosions though. No knee explosions. <laughs> All right, switch sides. Whew. Again, make sure you tuck the hips though. That's the most important part before you get into your stretch. Again, if that feels okay, grab that back leg. Don't feel bad if you get a little hamstring cramp when you first try that. I feel like that <laughs> always happens to me on one side. I'm like, oh, there it is. All right, stretch out the calves. So push up position, stack one foot on top of the other. Just hang out at the bottom here. Jason, I really tried to give you your space today. I Didn't noticed. You feel like I, noticed. I wasn't crowding you. I feel so much more included. I'm so Switch glad. sides. I could be halfway out of the screen for all I know for <laughs> half of it, <laughs> but I was really trying. I'm she probably still, bit. probably still in the middle. <laughs> and that's good. Finish off with some cat cows. I'll scoot forward again. All right. So arch your back and then round your back and then we'll be all done. Got to say, you know, Lauren and I's forte are a little bit slower paced strength workouts, but doing these workouts two to three times a week has definitely helped out our conditioning, helped out our just the overall ability to tolerate all this volume and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun. So you all are helping us out <laughs> just as much as hopefully these are helping you out. Absolutely. All right, cool. That felt good. That felt great. Yep. I hope you feel good too. I hope you join us again. Like we always say at the end of our workouts, you can always come back and do this one again. There's no reason to always be doing the newest workout. You can always return to the ones that you really like to try to use more weight or get a few more reps in. It's a really great idea to get a little bit of repetition. So yeah. we hope to see you again soon. Until next time. Sweat out. Happiness in. Yeah. <laughs>